a couple of people we've seen moving to Canada from Nigeria have been going to Oakville and mm. we are like it's an it's a nice place to safe and all but there's also better not better there are other places to live in Canada that are more affordable for a new family coming to Canada however though if you're boxed why not I mean if you're boxed why not but if you want your money to go a bit further there are a couple other cities we like to recommend the internet was saying Brampton and Mississauga but no nah, they're great in that there's life, but I want to raise you Hamilton. And we're biased about that. We like, we, Ham- love. we like Hamilton. Yes. We live there. That doesn't feel like an ad for Hamilton. It's not. <laughs> Nobody's paying us. But tell me why you like Hamilton for a new family that's coming. So from- it has, so the city itself is actually very strat- strategically positioned in such a way that it's, it's in the middle of the GTA axis mm-hmm. and then also on the other side which gives you St. Catharines, Niagara and close to the border. So like there's places to go. Yeah, so, so there are places to go and then in terms of like just setting in, it has all the things that, that you're looking for. A good number of black people in the community. So you're Health care system. Yeah, there are lots system. of hospitals. Yeah. There are there, 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 there a number of, com- of companies that have their their main offices there. And if you have to travel well, to Toronto for work, how far would it be? It would be just about an hour because there's public transport. So there's both the Go train, the Go buses. Mm-hmm. There's also the HSR Arrow uh, city buses that can get you yeah. anywhere. So, so you can go without the car for a little while. Yes. Yeah. Unlike some places where you're you're almost forced to buy a car the minute you land, the minute you find yourself and then it gives that good range of there are so many parts of town for different types of accommodation mm. you, you 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 want to go to like you know, get a single house there are good places for that you want to get an apartment yeah. there are good places for if you're a student as well mm-hmm. uh mark the the west mohawk, side of, of yeah. mark and mohawk as well also has you know just the type of accommodation that works well if you are yeah. a student and okay. When you Google Hamilton, you might find just the downtown and see all the things about, you know, um, homelessness, all of that. Every town, every major, major city in Canada has. has a level of homelessness, has a level of people on drugs. It is not like they are in your face. People are just trying to survive. And downtown is not as crazy as you might find on the Google. And it's, it's actually looking it's, good it's, now. Yeah, like, it's looking we great. drove by there a couple of weeks and then yeah. like, all the new new builds are coming up everywhere. Coming up. It's looking really nice. So and it's, why not just, not? it's not just downtown Hamilton. There's Stony Creek, Ancaster, Beanbrook, Mount Hope, all of those count as Hamilton ish. So, like, there are many places to, to settle into the town, into the city. And the restoration of Hamilton, if you're looking for a church as well, it's RCCG. RCCG, yes, it's great. I actually think one of the ways to see whether there are lots of black people, Nigerians, and places you're going to is the number of RCCGs <laughs> in the city. I, I so think now in Hamilton, we have, we, have, we have like four, and yeah. they are really well positioned yeah. at different axes of the church, so okay. you, of the city. So, okay. you can actually, you know, you know go to them. Go to them, scan through yeah. them okay. as well. And then, so that's Hamilton. We are there's stats about I, I'm leaving the stats because I want to just go through people's experiences. Another city we just discovered recently is Waterloo. Waterloo is a um, it's it's Waterloo Kitchener area. It's like a, a tech hub ish, lots of tech companies around there. There's Google's um, big com- big office there, there's SAP Oracle at head. We lived there for about a month and we're like, everything is so close. So, we won't be traveling up and close. down like within a 10 minutes, seven minutes drive, five minutes, two minutes, you're where you're, you're going already. So it's very nice. It's a bit of a student city, like, there are mm. lots of students there because all the schools, University of Waterloo, Wilfrid Laurier. Connectuga College is nice. It's very nice, and if you want a slower pace of life as well, it's a good. Not like slow as in there's nothing to do. It's, it's a good like there's amenities and it's nice, but it's not Toronto kind of crazy, yeah. right? The reason why I don't think Toronto um, is necessarily a good place when you're just landing is that it's crazy traffic all the time um it's packed with people housing is mad expensive and you just get a shoebox for the price so if you really want to be in the middle of the fun sure go to toronto go to vancouver the main big cities but like there are other cities and i feel like when you're new you don't really know much so this is me sharing information i've been in canada for over 13 years and it's been in canada for eight years eight years so we, we have some experience um which other city have i skipped would i recommend 
Guelph. How Ottawa. Otto, oh, Ottawa. Let's go to Ottawa. <laughs> the capital city. Okay, so Ottawa is the capital city, meaning that it is kind of, it's great for government jobs. So lots of um, great opportunities there. It's a bilingual city, so if you speak French, you'll be good. But it doesn't mean that you cannot work or live there without French. You can't. I don't really speak French, and I schooled there for four years. It's a slower pace of life. I compare it to Abuja if you're a Nigerian. You can <laughs> start vibe. It's very nice and chill. Um, what else did you say about Ottawa? It's, it's spacious. Like every time we get to yeah, drive, the roads are very wide. Every time we get yeah, to drive there, it's spacious. And I think it's also built by smaller like towns mm -hmm. as well that, that come together to, to make it good. And then just just that sense of that you're actually in the capital's uh, yeah. uh, city. There's definitely access to you know public transportation. Yeah. There's there 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 are a number of jobs. Yeah. And of course, you know if you if you moved. It, lots of miles away from your country one of the things that you're definitely looking at it's a good is, job it's, it's a good, good job I'm to defining match. now at greater than 70k because yes. you need to survive and thrive yeah thrive and then you know also like schools too as well yeah. like most of yeah. ottawa Calton, algonquin yeah and because where once the schools anywhere you have schools like this universities or colleges mm. businesses tend to thrive around them so sure. people doing investment for, for houses uh people just building their businesses around that school yeah. environment what does that typically mean that during school you know terms those places are, are busy they are they are popping but of course in the summer months as well where schools are either just kind of slow paced mm -hmm. you still get to enjoy some of those because those businesses don't shut down yeah. during summer. but it's it's a nice place it's a good place and yeah. it's, it's more affordable when you move and they have a good train oh system. the train is awesome they, like it's clean Toronto's train is, is there yeah, the Toronto has a really extensive transportation system, yes, but the trains are kind of like, yeah, they, they can be a bit cramped. They are cramped during rush hour. They are not as... Ottawa's train is clean and beautiful. It Very feels clean. like you are in a plain kind of vibe. They have good buses as well. Yeah, and um, I think one thing for me about Ottawa, if I were to live there, it gives you that access to Quebec. Oh yeah, it's close. Very it takes close you what, about two hours to Montreal. Yeah, two hours. So you can always have that that Day French. Trip day trip experience with mm -hmm. your family and then head back home on the same day as well I don't which know we've done yeah we've done that yeah. I don't know so much about Quebec but I know that they have a good black population as well I'm including that because I feel like when you move to a new country you want to have some people that are like you you want to be able to find African food easily so like Afri all the places that we're mentioning have African stores in them but I'm saying and Pisaga are good as well but it will be expensive because the closer you are to Toronto the more expensive it will be but if you're looking for access you don't want to travel too much to work consider those alright I'm going to leave a little bit calgary edmonton are uh, in alberta those are two different places calgary and edmonton they have a good number of black people if you want oil money you can go there i don't know how the oil sector is doing but it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's there it's there and then halifax i've heard halifax has black people i'm surprised but because I, I don't i didn't know but apparently it has a good number of black people as well if you're looking to go there cost of houses is very cheap <laughs> That's it. If you live in Ontario, you get cheaper houses. Um, any other things you say about cities to consider other than Oakville? Not that Oakville is bad. Oakville is safe, it's nice, but it's expensive. I believe is 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 actually mapping your way to where you want to settle eventually. Mm -hmm. It might be a good idea to start off in a a, a cityscape like Mississauga, mm -hmm. or Brampton, mm -hmm. uh, Calgary, the, the places where there is more like a city, mm -hmm. but just so that you can easily integrate right. into the, 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 the culture. We've we've been to places, we've lived at places where it's more more like a, a village style, rural, areas. rural area. You don't have yeah. access to much, yeah. so. It, being new, you definitely Wait, need to make All the friends. ones we've mentioned are not rural areas. Yeah. So we're talking about Listowel, Elmine, <laughs> places you don't even know. But yes. Yeah. So it's always good to have that in mind is, is where is it that you or your spouse going to have a job? Are you going to work remote? Are, are you going to work from mm -hmm. home? Mm -hmm. Where are the kids going to? To, you know, to go to school mm -hmm. and just access to a community. That's, that's probably like the, the huge one. Yeah. All of these, you will not need to rank 
how these are very important uh, to you and before almost, you make a move. Almost every civilized area, not almost, every place where there's a bunch of houses, Canada is great. There will be schools, there will be hospitals. Yes. So you don't have to really worry about that. Like the planning here is your taxes are working for you. So if you find a place, don't necessarily worry about their good schools or anything. Is it safe? Relatively everywhere is safe. Like, okay. So I just wanted to share more information so that you at least have access to more options and then you can take take it further from there do your own research um don't necessarily just stick to what google is saying and also you're not stuck when you come here you can check out the place for a while and decide that you know this doesn't is not, work it's not really working it doesn't for work you, for, for you yeah. and then you'll find a place you find place so yeah on that note tell them to like subscribe and share well like subscribe and share <laughs> all right i'm Papa, <laughs> and this is obi and it was nice chatting with you guys bye, bye.